The Woodland Park Zoo provided the meeting ground. The potential result of the meeting is a growth in the hippopotamus population. Solon Gray takes a philosophical and scholarly look at the momentous event. Whenever an animal wants to become as one with another, it is desirable to be at least comparable in size for each of them. Well, these people are gathered here to see the first meeting between Kubwasana, a tiny hippo, about a year and a half old, visiting from the Portland Zoo. Kubwasana is here for the purpose of mating with Gertrude. There's Kubwasana. The experiment is to find out whether they will be friends. Kubwasana is just a tiny little hippo. He was born in September of 75. And Kubwasana and Gertrude know one another. They've met through fences and stood nose to nose. But this is the first time that they will have met face to face, freely. That's Gertrude. And she weighs a lot. Gertrude weighs 6,000 pounds. Gertrude, as you can easily see, is considerably larger than Kubwasana. Thus, Kubwasana at the moment is faced with what one might term an insurmountable problem. But there's no rush. We have four years to wait. I'm Solon Gray, Eyewitness News. Three tons of feminine poker tube. <laughs> I don't think it'll work to you. A momentous event, ladies and gentlemen, and you were there.